Hello and welcome to the Music Room. I'm Duncan Taylor and this is our second installment of our Synergistic Setups video series. Now this is an awesome series for me, it's my favorite, because the audiophile hobby is all about finding synergy. You know, you can buy, you know, every product from one brand if you want, but you know, what's the fun in that? And then the audiophile in you might be asking later, where could this have gone if I had just gotten that preamp or this pair of speakers or what have you. And it's also rare for any kind of company that makes full electronics gear to also make speakers and entire system. But the fun part about the audiophile hobby is doing your research and listening and trying things out and actually finding these little synergistic pairings that are like diamonds in the rough. So being the world's leader in secondhand uh, hi-fi audio, uh, this is something that we come across every day in the testing department. And it's also something that, uh, that we have a unique position to be able to offer in terms of recommending certain uh, synergistic setups, or at least being able to explain why certain setups are synergistic to help you guys go out there and find your own synergistic setups uh, in the future. So this second installment is based around a pair of speakers and really based around an experience that we had in the testing department the other day. A coworker of mine was testing these beautiful Omega Compact Alnico monitor speakers and they really caught my eye. I mean, look at them. They've got uh, cherry wood on the baffle and walnut on the sides and that's unique but really works with this uh, this speaker look. But I'm also kind of always interested, my interest is peaked when I go over and I see a, a full range driver, you know, crossoverless speaker in the mix. Um, it's more of a rare speaker design. It's the way speakers used to be designed before uh, before we started splitting, to, you know, jobs off to tweeters and mid ranges and having to chop all that sound up in the crossover. Um, there are reasons that it's not the best approach or hasn't been in the past, but there's also a, a case to be made for, for a single full range driver speaker like the Omega Compact Alnico Monitor as being a very specific use type of speaker. It's not one of these that, that works with a whole bunch of things and will give you pretty medium results. This will actually give you stunning results if you treat it the right way. So when I went to my coworker and asked how he liked them, and he was like, mm. Not so much, they're, they're a little forward, the bass is a little light. You know, I'm just sort of chuckling because uh, our testing setups are all class D amps. They're, uh, you know, chip based DACs with, that, that are relatively budget and uh, their, their, their goal is durability and they're really good for us at the music room, but they are absolutely not the right environment for a speaker like this that has a specific use in mind when it's designed. So I thought, hey, that's a great Synergistic Setups video. Why don't I go around the warehouse and try to find a few pieces of gear that will turn these into uh, objects of affection for my testing uh, technician coworker and basically pull the beauty out of them so that you can see how they're supposed to be used. The crossoverless compact Alnico monitor from Omega is geared toward efficient, uh, low power tube amplifiers. Um, having no crossover means that the impedance plot of this speaker is, you know, almost ruler flat. And tube amps, especially simple tube amps, really like an even impedance plot. It helps them create an even frequency response on the listener's end. And so uh, these would be paired with something like a, a, you know, a two watt amp all the way to a 15 watt amp. Um, the amps I chose are actually 50 watts per channel. But this is the kind of thing that you want to be looking for, not, not a 300 watt class D amp to pair with these things. So uh, I looked around at the tube amps in our stock, and as soon as I saw these OTL amps, which are output transformerless, meaning they don't have output transformers and they're much lighter than they look, um, but the company Atmosphere has uh, been making output transformerless amps for a long time, and uh, this is the M60 Mark II Revision II. So these are a pair of mono tube amps from Atmosphere. They're known as the best value of OTL amps that you can get out there. And so OTL amps have this characteristic of uh, transparency, of liquidity, musicality, um, and uh, they're very, very good on the top end. And so that was one of the things that I thought about when I'm pairing with these compact Alnico monitors. If we look under the grill, we actually see the wizard cone. 
uh, which helps the, the single speaker uh, act like a tweeter at high frequencies. This is good. It's not as good as a, as a standalone tweeter, but with a standalone tweeter, then you have to have a crossover in the mix, which kind of throws the baby out with the bathwater in this case. Um, and so pairing these speakers with amps that are really, really good and transparent and sparkly and detailed at the top end is the right way to go. The next point here um, in this system is the speaker cabling. So uh, with small power going to efficient speakers, you don't have a lot of current moving along that path. The amp is not pushing current and the speakers are not soaking it up. So you really want to think about thinner speaker cables in this, in this case. I don't need any kind of hulking six gauge monsters, but I need something nice, something extended on the top and something with a, a great pedigree if I'm putting together a serious system like this. So what I chose was the Moro Audio Elite speaker cables, and that's what you see right here. Um, they ended up being a really, really great match for this system. Now this system, uh, you know, a lot of things move in and out of our rack here in our testing, or in our listening room. Um, but right now we're using the Cord Hugo 2 as the DAC and the preamp in this system. And uh, you know, these Cord DACs, they can push out big volts. We found it to be a really good partner in this system. The last thing I want to point out is, uh, is power cabling. Now, when you're putting together a transparent system like this, um, power is something you want to think about. Um, you know, it's, it's room filling sound, but in general, you're, it's a little bit more of an intimate presentation. And so given everything we've done so far to maintain this transparent and really extended top end, you, it really behooves you to take a look at the power and, and, and address that. Now you can do that with conditioning, or one of the things I like to do is use power cables that are built to have the same qualities as conditioners. And I found one such cable in our stock and I decided to use that on these speakers. And then all of a sudden, somebody else in the community felt like they wanted the same cable and, and it was bought. And so I had to say goodbye to that. I had to go find myself another power cable in our, in, our, uh, in our lineup. But I looked for the same qualities and essentially that's what I found. I didn't find two of them. So my solution was to bring into the mix this Nordost Thor distribution power center. Now it's more than just a strip, it's got some conditioning elements in it, but if you look at the reviews of this piece, which actually Nordost uh, discontinued, they have a new uh, QRT line and they've redesigned all of their uh, power conditioning and distributors. But if you look at the reviews of this Thor, it's just a loved device. There's all kinds of praise for this thing out there. The job I needed it to do was really just take the qualities of this excellent, excellent power cable and, and send them to both amps. And so that's why that's in this system. But that rounds up all the pieces to this system. How does it sound? Well, I really wish I could play it for you. The finer nuances of this presentation would be lost in the YouTube uh, kind of world. And uh, you'll just have to, to trust me that, that it's one of the best sounding little systems that I've put together in this, in this room yet in TMR's history in this building. Um, people have been walking in and just stopping in their tracks. And, uh, and people are gathering around this thing, listening to all these uh, tracks I'm playing. I'm playing lots of stuff with center vocals that are just, you know, wet and juicy in the middle. Something like a, <clears throat> I was playing a Aruj Aftab's uh, Vulture Prince, and her voice just sits so beautifully in the mix here. Um, and, and the great thing about a transparent, simple system like this is that all those ambient cues, you know, we did a lot to pay attention to the top frequencies with those, you know, kept in place and not messed up, you get this wonderful sense of ambiance from this little system. Well, that is it for us with this synergistic setup. I hope you learned something about uh, some of these great devices and, uh, and why this pairing actually made a lot of sense and turned a speaker that wasn't that impressive into something that was truly impressive. Um, we enjoy these synergistic setups videos. Subscribe if you haven't so you can catch the next ones. We do also product spotlights and some other videos. Um, but thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and we will hit you on the next one.